Ever since I was a child, I was encouraged to work with my hands and um, encouraged to really create. And I find that working with three-dimensionality through clay is a natural for me. My background is in art education, and throughout my adult life I've tried to encourage and bring out creativity in all people of all ages. Um, I think it, it broadens their life and teaches them to think laterally. Creativity and artistic endeavors encourages people to view the world in different ways. I think that teaching art can help people to see, to consider different aspects of life other than just what they learn in the school system. And um, that's what's so wonderful about creativity. It's been really fun working with Matt. He's a very young, bright uh, student who's here for grade 11 from Hong Kong and we've been working in ceramics all winter. Teaching is always as much learning as instructing, and Matt has uh, made me grow in ways that I didn't know about. Um, he has set about to create projects that uh, I've not done before, so we've worked on them together to create different forms that he's interested in. From the, yeah, from the copper cake. Shortly after moving to Canmore, I was looking for an organization to join that I could contribute to. The reason I got involved with the Mountain Arts Foundation in the beginning was because I think it, it's an organization that encourages and supports local creativity. The Vic Lewis Band Festival is the music side of the Mountain Arts Foundation, bringing hundreds of school-aged kids to town to share their talents in front of each other and be mentored by professional musicians that are brought to town. On the other side, the uh, visual arts side, Art Speak, has always been a wonderful event to showcase artists in the community as well as some from outside the community to um, educate artists and to encourage and support artists. And I see the importance of Mountain Arts Foundation in this community, uh, this very creative community, as involving people in the arts, encouraging people in the arts, and in uh, allowing people an outlet for their artistic endeavors. I think there's a certain sense of freedom in Canmore to be an individual and express oneself. I found after moving to Canmore that I, I opened up my mind into different areas that I thought could be pursued and went from functional ceramics into satisfied ceramics that I focus on now. Currently the Mountain Arts Foundation Board is working very hard on developing our new initiative of the Art Centre in Canmore, which will be a community art centre called Arts Place. And it will be a place for the community to come and learn, be encouraged, and to share their skills in all creative endeavours, from dancing to drumming to painting to pottery. Wait! What I really need to tell you is that all the stars are aligned. The final decision's been made and Canmore's going to open a fabulous new art center in 2015.